what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i heard john krasinski or news came out that john krasinski want was returning or uh reports came out that he was set to return uh to direct the sequel to last year's a quiet place he uh in the last movie he starred in that he directed it and he uh i think he co-wrote it with a few people a few other people uh my thoughts on that is that i think that that is honestly what is best when it comes to filmmaking uh i'll use the scream series for example when it comes to making a movie and just making a series of films in a franchise i feel like you're benefiting yourself if you're keeping a, if you're keeping the same writer that's not to say that john krasinski cannot make is that's not me saying that he'll make as good of a film as the first one was even though the first one the lacking of the first one primarily falls in the plot holes of the whole situation and some of the things that just don't make sense and they're just nonsensical that's kind of the strongest detractor that goes uh, against a quiet place aside from that though it's a solid film of uh, one of the better post-apocalyptic thrillers horror thrillers that we've gotten in recent memory but getting back to my point i feel like if you have a consistent creative team if you're doing a series that benefits the series because you'll have the same person who's always trying to build on what they did the last time it's if they're it's almost as if they're always going to try to compete with themselves versus that person stepping down from the creative team um no longer writing it no longer directing it no longer having anything to do with it uh then you'll have someone else who's just looking let's say you have someone over here who's probably never done anything and they're looking to make a make a name for themselves of course they're going to jump on board for a quiet place 2 project I, I wouldn't blame them for doing that uh but what is their what is their background now do we do we know anything about them not to say that someone that who doesn't have a background with with filmmaking couldn't come out and just make, have a successful debut uh it's just the mind the mentality that when you have a consistent person constantly backing uh, a series of films you're more than likely guaranteed to have a more coherent narrative a more consistent story you won't have things jumping all over the place like you do with the halloween franchise so i think that john krasinski not only coming back to write but also to direct will help benefit the style of how the first film was shot how it was how uh certain things were illustrated to the audience uh certain angles and a whole bunch of other things that i think he did a very good job of doing behind the camera um uh, i'm really glad that he is reportedly coming back i don't think i don't know if it, anything's been official but he the only real co official confirmation that we've gotten is uh, an instagram post that he had a few weeks ago where he tweeted or posted rather that they would be heading to uh film the movie soon with many implying that, that would mean he would be along for the ride now uh there was never anything where he specifically said i'm coming back to direct this was just one of those instances where someone was tipped off and they ran with a report other news outlets broke it uh i think my website actually covered it as well but it's nice that he's coming back if if it is 100 percent, if he is coming back to direct i think that is amazing because he's already coming back to direct or write the script rather he's already pinned the script and apparently they're looking to film this summer emily blunt's coming back to uh millicent millicent simmons and uh noah jupe i think her name his name is they're coming back as the kid stars too uh it's nice that all three of them are coming back so like i was saying before or it, this goes along with what i was thinking they would do if they did do a follow-up they're going to have those characters back but they're not i don't think they're going to be the focus so we'll have like them what we'll have is like a side by side we'll have two narratives being told kind of like if you're familiar with the jeepers creeper series how jeepers creepers 2 was done we would constantly flash from the creeper taking on the bus to uh the father and son pursuing the creeper i think that's what we're going to see here we're going to end up seeing something involving another group of people getting terrorized by these uh creatures and then on the other side we'll have a flash a flashback to what's going on with uh the abbott family we'll have a flashback going on with what's going on with the abbots uh 
not flashbacks, but like, you know what I'm saying? They'll be jumping back and forth. It'll be both time periods will be set in the present, but we'll just be jumping back between two parties. We'll go from the Abbots who were uh, out there trying to survive and doing their best to live and take out any creatures that come across them. Uh, assuming that this movie is going to be set a few years later where where they have like developed certain things to use that loud screeching noise against the creatures and then we'll jump to another group of individuals who are just being terrorized by them and then hopefully at the end of the day it'll lead to the abbots joining that group uh we'll have some survivors from that group obviously and then that'll lead into hopefully a third and final film i don't want this to turn into like a grand spectacle of films if you know me you know um I kind of said this a bunch of times on the channel, but I am a big fan of trilogies. Uh, I really do appreciate a good set of three films that all three complement the next. Uh, I just think that's I just something about the number three. When you're able to tell an entire an entire uh, point and get your point across in three movies, I always think that that's the best thing to do and the reason why i say trilogy would be the best base because i feel like this universe it's just one of those worlds that can, you can just go on and on and on because i doubt even if they do a third film we'll find out why these creatures are actually here uh and does that even really matter they're aliens we just want them gone uh, I, I mean sure to the audience yes we would like to know that but does that even really matter i mean we can get hints as to why they're here left and right just to lead to theories to talk about but i don't think we'll ever concretely find out why they are here because i don't think we're ever gonna be able to communicate with these creatures they're they're aliens they don't speak our language if they even speak i don't think they speak even uh but yeah if they do a third film that's best to just end the series after that because you're just gonna have a, a, a series of films then just going on and on and on and on and on because you're basically in type of a walking dead type of world and i don't want to see that take don't take advantage of the series just because you have the ability to make it keep going and going and going don't try to just make cash grab sequels uh if you no longer have passion for it don't just write a film put it out and then say oh we're gonna make money for it anyway so let's just do it don't do that uh, think of something new to do move on uh appreciate what you created over here in the series off nicely now if you're able to go past three and you and like let's say two kicks it out of let's just say number two blows a quiet place out of the water let's just say a quiet place two is 10 times better than the first one or like just as good and then let's say three comes along and it's just as good uh if they want to go ahead and do a four go ahead but once once you start seeing like a decline in what was already done before then you need to come to terms that yeah we're not we're we need to stop we need to wrap it up we need to wrap this up nicely put in a nice bow and send it off on its way and let the fans and everyone else remember it for what it was good for and we don't want to become the walking dead that's all i'll say but yeah those are my thoughts on it i'm glad he's returning to direct i'm glad emily blunt is coming back and the kids are going to star in the film as well It'll be nice to see what they those characters are up to and catch up with the abbott family and i'm interested to see who the actual focus is going to be on if it'll actually be on the abbots or if it'll be on a new group of people or if it'll be on the abbots and then the abbots end up coming in contact with a new group of people and that's who we focus on or if it'll just be jumping back between the abbots and this set of people until they ultimately collide at the end of the movie and they unite for one third and final film those are my thoughts on john krasinski returning if you haven't already make sure you subscribe or turn on post notifications if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up in the description i have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know what movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video